Welcome back to another hardcore group ramen episode featuring me, Mr. Mutz, and Fuse. So let's recap on what's going on recently with us. For me, I've just been getting ready for Zora. So in this video, you'll see a ton of that. But what about the other guys? Well, Mr. Fuse is going to be the dedicated slayer guy. So he's in the process of working towards a whip. So you'll be seeing that pretty soon, probably in the next video. And as for Mutz though, he's definitely the star of the start for our group for sure because he's the one that made it to gauntlet with a little bit of help from us and this man has been making crazy gains at the gauntlet does it get paid up yes oh my god oh we got the butterfly baby yes let's go the six food we still need five armor seeds though but yes <laughs> 164 for absolutely nothing surprise Oh, what? No way! I got another enhanced! Holy shit! What the fuck? I got two enhanced before a second. I don't even have a second armor seed, dude! Because of his exploits as of late, and I'm not talking about him surviving a certain death, I'm talking about the fact that this man got two freaking weapon seeds, the enhanced ones. They're worth like 200 mil each or something if you make the weapons. So yeah, just his bank alone in our group is over 400 mil because of that. And that really puts us probably like the most rich group in like the entire game. Just because who has two weapon seats enhanced in their group? I don't even think the four mans and five mans have that much value. My account alone has like 50 mil and I'm sure Fuse probably has like 50 mil. So we're probably at like 500 mil total or something in terms of value. Not that it really matters. I just know for viewers though, y'all care about it. So subscribe damn i got a marketer i didn't even pay for it so the main things again i'm prepping zora for right now is 82 fishing for the anglers and i want to train my magic range to 80 and i want to do some barrels in between so i can hopefully get some arrows pieces because mystics is kind of booty especially because i only have ivans want to try something can i do this dude this is a weird safe spot i almost never ever use this one but yes 75 magic sweet and now if fuse can get a trident though anytime soon then yeah we can start using that but still such a long way to go oh double verax uh get me the freak out of here dude <laughs> shit wait maybe i do I think I can. Uh, oh my god, dude. What the hell? Okay, I'm glad I could lower this guy all the way over here and say spot it. Uh, Alright, didn't take too long to get here this time with the uh, Port Tyrus unlocked. Okay, double check. Two, 2,500 charges. Okay. 77 magic. Hell yeah. 77 fishing. Five more levels to go. And we have like 200 permits now, so... This loot looting session, when we uh, finish, is going to be so crazy. Alright guys, so I have like 6,000 plus Karen bonds, so I think that's quite a lot of food. And I'm getting a little bored here. I feel like Fish Barrel could make these other methods like fishing um, Trout Salmon AFK pretty good. And I'm really curious to see what kind of XP prior I can net. Holy crap, with the Fish Barrel... I'm getting like 46k an hour, so this is obviously a short test here, so let's just say at least 40k an hour once I start slacking a bit. That's quite a lot, it's 13k more than Karambon, so like 50% more. So I'm just gonna take a gamble here and just assume 6k Karambons. It's gonna be enough to get me to 84 cooking for anglers with the food that I get from here and also Tempras. Whew! That's the scariest, man. When you gotta fix it and tether at the same time. <sighs> oh, nice. Why don't you KC at Tampa Rush? Ah, there it is. 79 fishing. Yay. Three more levels to go. Dude, this is gonna be weird. Fishing might be my highest level skill ever. Yo, look at this. <laughs> look at this guy. Oh my god. He's literally getting burned alive, dude. Look at this shit. Oh god, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, that was so close. Bro, your fire antics almost got us killed, bro. You could save both of these nuts, but no. There it is. 80 fishing. Sweet. Ooh, the eels are pretty good. Yes, I can catch manta rays. Which I will not be doing because we'd rather be catching anglerfish, you know? The big moments. Oh man, so much fishing, bro. I've never sweated so hard fishing. And this isn't even like ultra sweaty, but for me it is, right? Like, holy crap, 82 fishing. Finally, anglerfish. 384 permits. This will go by pretty damn quick. Let's start, shall we? Five minutes of just pure... Oh, whoa, 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 tackle box, sick. So not the craziest item, but I've never gotten this before in my life. And it's going to save some bank space because I can put all like my fishing tools and my fishing baits in there. Although you can't fish while the tools are in there, but yeah, it's good for organizing bank. Another dupe? No. Every 25 soak page is a dupe. Oh, I got it. Yes. Let's go. Third tome of water. Hell yeah. Let's freaking go. I was worried that I wasn't getting anything good. All right, let's go. Sweet. No more sharing tones of waters. Oh, I can store this. Hell yeah, dude. All right, let's open up some more stuff. All right, let's see what the total loot is. Oh, nice. 2.5 mil from 380 uh, something permits. This is a lot of Slayer stuff. Slaughters right there. Amazing. Really like that. Tome of water, for the third one. So yeah, no more sharing. Sea turtles and mantas. I'll keep these. Eventually, I can uh, make the enchanted liar. Good food. This is a lot of cooking XP. Good construction XP right here. Yep. Pretty nice rewards. And pretty good fishing XP. Temporos is definitely A+, plus, man. Let's build a quest hall. So I can make a mountain glory. Oh my god. I forgot about this. Mutts had extra glories from Crystal Imps, man. Ah, oh, could have just made this. Wow, that's gonna make traveling so much more convenient. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, damn, so many ranging potions. Holy shit. Mutts has been training his, uh, his herb lore, All right? Let's go. I'll take some of these. Oh, wait, I think I need to log out. Yeah, I need to log out. There we go. Should work now. Sweet. I was AFKing on armbar from time to time, cutting jungle so that I can get myself a gal tuber a little bit more efficiently. So that way I save some time. Damn, 76 farming. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. No more boosting for animal plants. Very nice. Huge. Time to do some type farm because I'm so freaking sick of the stupid weeds. Growing in my goddamn patches, so... I'm also 74 farming, which means I can plant the highest tier fruits here for the best points per hour. Oh, we're finally done, guys. If you're wondering, I did five patches. That was the simplest method, which is good for me because I barely ever do this. But it only took me a little bit over an hour to get the anti-weed perk, so definitely get it. It's so worth it. It is so, so worth it. All right, here we go. Buy this auto weed. No raking weed is just amazing. Oh, it just makes life so much more relaxing. Can we go into Mr. Mutz's house? Sweet. Ooh. Hey, my boy's got the, a nice pool too. Yeah, he's got a gilded altar. All right, so we got 200 worm bones. Some dragon bones, some Dagonaut bones, so... Damn it, I can't even use the ashes on these altars. Rip. I did manage to get 63 prayer though. So anytime I stock up on some bones, I'll definitely hit up Mutz for this. But we're passively gonna get to 70. Not really gonna grind for it. Three levels. Let's go. Still getting so many runecrafting levels. So guys, it's time to improve our running economy even more. And the next big step is to create a revitalization pool at 70 construction. You can do it at 62 with the boosts and all of that. But it does also require 10 Staminas. But luckily, Mutz is already so high herb level that we already have Staminas in the bank. Easy peasy. As you can see. So all I got to do is train my construction. This is 
a, such a worthwhile endeavor. Only need to get 62 construction. And the way I plan on getting it is going to be uh, through Mahogany Homes. Which means I don't need as many uh, planks as I normally do. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a bit of teak planks. And stock up on some steel bars and get to it. And then make myself that pool. It's going to be very nice. But I also need to make the base pool though. Um, at 65 construction I believe. Which is the restoration pool. That's going to cost uh, 1000 soul runes and 1000 body runes. Alright, these soul runes is quite expensive. But it's okay. 300k to get all the stuff for it. Alrighty, 10 minutes of this got me uh, like 300 steel bars. I think that's plenty to get 62 con. Alright guys, I'm going to do this planking method. It's kind of weird. I use stick site pendant to teleport here and then run here. And then I bank using the dueling ring. The reason why I'm doing this one over, uh, say, Wookan and Gil is because it's faster. And uh, I do have a lot of gems. I got a lot of gems. So teleportation with these is not a big deal. And this is just like a one-time thing, you know. Eventually, I'll just be doing butler method anyways. It's definitely uh, faster here because I only have to make the trip once. And then immediately bank rest. This, I got to do this. Go back and forth, go back and forth, go back and forth. Uh, also, another neat thing is if I need to just reset my run. The Dueling Ring can just send me over to Frox Enclave. And yeah, I can just reset my run. So that way I can just keep running over and over and over again. So, contract 50. Here we go. How much does this give you? Oh, the cup of tea gives me 100 run. Sick. I thought it was going to give you uh, very little. Honestly, Mahogany Homes is just so good for like Iron Man trying to rush rush uh, construction without much prep. So I'm using a plugin from the Runelite plugins. You just type Mahogany Homes and it'll be there. It just highlights the things that you have to uh, rebuild and yeah, it just makes it more enjoyable. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't even... Oh my god. I just... I'm, just, I'm big braining this. Watch. I have the Tome of Water. Put on the Tome of Water. Yeah. And there we go. That's one space safe. Could get a hammer, a wieldable hammer, but I'm too lazy to do that quest for it. But yeah. We just got 60 construction. Two more to go. This is going to cut it really close. Again, we did not do the math for how much planks I need for this. So. And it looks like we ended up getting about 130k an hour without like the most efficient teleportation stuff. But yeah, 62 con. Hell yeah. Now comes the uh, next annoying part, which is boosting for the levels. No, dude. Does it have to be unnoted? Are you serious, fudge? I better hurry, man. Are you serious? Ah, oh, bro. It has to be unnoted? Man, that's actually so ass. Oh, I got it again. Hey, never mind. We're good, boys. Woo! Saved. Oh my god. There we go, boys. Unlimited run has been unlocked. <laughs> oh my god. Good thing I had these extras, bro. <laughs> Alright, that looks good. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I set the pool here so that way it's the closest. Yeah, there we go. Now we can do this. And then we can bank like this with the glory. Oh man, I love this. Look at that. Teleport. Recharge. Boom. Oh man, this is so good, dude. Any clue scroll stuff? Any uh, farm runs? Whatever, dude. I'm always going to be running. I guess questing too. I'm always going to be running, dude. So nice. Oh my god, I can probably get 80% next time. 79% maze. Alright guys, I am broke as heck. 66k and uh, my um, out collection isn't too strong at the moment. But look at this. Look at this. There's 8 mil GP in the bank. It's time to take a loan out. I think a mil should suffice. And uh, if you're wondering where all this money came from, um, you probably already guessed it. All of it from Corrupted Gauntlet from uh, Mutz's grind. There we go. Nice. I had to do this quest because for this bad boy, let's go ahead and charge the amulets, the camulet. Sweet. Now we have infinite charges and check this out. Oh, it doesn't teleport us straight to the, to the entrance though because I don't have the diary. 
All right, we made it out here, and the pyramid is right there, so. This will be very useful for the earlier Slayer levels, and so I have better uh, methods to get here. Yep, still working towards the 80 range and magical through Slayer for the Zora. Nice, 78 range. Sweet. There it is, 78 mage. God damn. Very nice. 170k to 79, but if I can get lucky and get some more burst tasks, they'll go by super fast. Does this guy want to steal my shit? Yo. Ah! This guy wants to steal my shit. Yo, no way. 214 dust levels. Oh my god. I just got back to back burst tasks. That's amazing. Let's go, dude. And that's uh, that's perfect, too. Dude, it took almost nine levels to get my first double dust double task. And it happens to be from her. From Kona of all people, dude. Let's go. Alright, hopefully this works now. There we go, Slayer Home. Nice. First task done. Oh my god. That felt amazing, guys. Oh, 80 farming, another level 80 skill, man. Damn, look at our look at our look at our skill level, man. Jeez. There it is, 80 magic. Sweet. After this task, we make our barrels portal. Alright, so that's one of the stats I want for Zora done. And only thing left for stats is uh range. So we're almost there. One more range level. Wizard's Mind Bomb. Here we go. We are now 83 magic. And there we go. We put that in. Yes. Hell yeah. Okay. Oop. Teleport away. And uh, re restore my run like this. Restore my prayer like this. And go all the way back. Only wish I uh, put it here instead, but it's okay. I lose like a second or something. 86%. Oh, Torax Helm. Finally, though, I got a new item. Or just an item in general. It's been like three days, you know, since the last... Oh my goodness, I got Derox Great Axe. A new item. Alright, here we go. Oh, Guthin's Helm. Let's go. That's that's cool, that's cool. Oh yes! Finally, Tank Legs. Wait, is that a back-to-back? -back? Yo, Tank Legs, finally. It's not Verax, but holy shit, let's go. First Tank Legs, man. What a day. Oh, we got the Barrels Portal, and then we're just getting so many items, dude. Fourth item today. Oh my god. So ever since getting the barrels portal, the speed in which I can complete my runs has astronomically increased by probably 40%. I'm getting like 25k magic XP an hour versus like the 18k I was getting without the portal. So yeah, I'm probably getting my barrels done like 40% faster with the portals. So nuts. Unfortunately no errors pieces but it's okay i can do zoro i'm pretty sure with mystics i will try again and do some more barrels but i'll wait till i get the diaries because long term i want to be able to get that extra 50 percent rune so we'll go back then i'm going to be ending the video here today guys next video though for sure we are 100 having some zoro content because i only need to get 84 cooking which i'll show you more in the next video and 80 range and just to make some random stuff like um got the express tea things like that so yeah look forward to it if you are excited as heck for some dangerous zora without diaries definitely like the video let me know because i'm excited to show you guys what's in store next take care